Hey guys, Pseudo Goods 94, and today we're doing another episode of King of Kaiju Mode. I haven't done one of these in a while. And we are by Alante. Who is freaking huge. Like, honestly. See, the thing with Biollante is, she is so overpowered because of her range. Like, look at this. I don't even have to get near him. It's just, Biollante is a monster. So I'm not talking that much, but recently I've had somebody <coughs> sorry for the cough. I'm still getting over flu and stuff, but what's it called? Um talking to me about a SH Marshall with Violante. Asking how much I'd pay for it. And I gotta say, it would be nice to have an extra smart sets by Lante, but it's not one of my dream figures. And don't get me wrong, Biolante's cool looking. Look at this range. Good at fire. This is their, her beam. <laughs> Doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay, except for that time. Yeah, she probably just like acid sap thing. Kinda of like grenades. But, but like, the SH Monsters Biolante is overpriced, but... And for articulation, really doesn't have a lot of it. I mean, it looks nice. It's probably the nicest Biolante you're gonna get that isn't X+, because... I gotta be honest, people who like the Bandai Japan are... Bandai, Bailante that they already have out right now. I'm sorry, but in my opinion, it looks so crappy. It's it just does not look good. Oh, well, here it comes. Batra has a lot of beams. <laughs> oh, here it comes. People who max Bylante can do that for ages and just dominate everybody. One person who's really good in to play as against Bylante is Mecha King Ghidorah. Because his roar is really long. Same with his little breakaway attack. Look at that combo right there. And Biolante yeah, doesn't really get knocked back that much. Like... Look at that. Look 
Uh, I'm not talking as much just because I don't want to cough, but Violante is so overpowered in this game. The only problem is no beam weapon. Well, actually, she does have beam weapon, but it doesn't go very far. Hey, origin story. Space Godzilla created by Violante. Not really. That wouldn't really work. See, I know they give two possible origins for Violante saying how he was either created by or for Space Godzilla saying how he was either created by what's it called <coughs> Mothra cells or Violante cells but it has to be Mothra Because the reason why Space Godzilla couldn't be created by Biollante, even though they share that little tusk look, is because, remember, Biollante was made in, what, 1989? And Mothra er, came out in 1992? Right? Yeah. So, in Space Godzilla was in 1994. Now, the reason Biollante couldn't exist, for, or Space Godzilla couldn't exist from Biollante, is because, remember, in 1991, with uh, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, they removed Godzilla from history, so everything after 1991, or before 1991, Godzilla never existed. So, if Godzilla never existed, that means Biollante would never exist because there was no Godzilla to create Biollante. Therefore, the only explanation that makes any sense would be that Mothra helped carry Godzilla's cells into space to create Space Godzilla. Because Mothra came out in 1992. Where everything before 1991, got, there was no Godzilla. 1991 and above, there was a Godzilla. So basically, in long short, the Mothra origin for Space Godzilla makes sense. While the other one does not. That's the reason why the Heisei era is one of my favorites. Not only because of unique monsters, but because everything ties in together. Like, the Space Godzilla tied in when Bio... Space Godzilla movie ties in a lot with Biollante. Think about it. So let's see the bra. Oh wait, no, that was, was that 1984. I want it. I don't know. I know the one guy's brother died. So I don't know. But like Mecha King Ghidorah and Mecha Godzilla 2 over here tie together. Or Super Mecha Godzilla. <coughs> We're coughing. But yeah, they tie together. That's a cool thing about the Heisei films. And that's it for Biolante. I did destroy it a while ago, but I was even more sick than I am now, so I deleted it because my voice was horrible. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.